And it's amazing, Amanda, that James defends you because, quite frankly, if he saw anything that you said to me, all the sex talk, all the bloody e all the sex emails, all the sexy poems and all that, I guarantee you he would flip his bloody lid and so he bloody well should. Because, you know what? You basically tried to come on to me and you don't even want to basically admit it, but you bloody well did and you bloody well know it and I can prove it, you know? But I'm, like I said, I view James as my big brother. That's why I never basically came, you know. That's why, that's why I basically, well, let's put it this way. Yes, I do actually like your sister, but she doesn't like me, and I have to respect that. Yes, I do find her attractive, but I'm not a bloody well fool that I would bloody well do to her what other people have done to her in the past, and basically make her terrified. No, instead, <clears throat> no, instead, you know what I'm doing? As I just basically said before, I wanted to basically stand up for herself. I want that Melody to realize her true potential and her true strength within herself and actually fa face me and others down. She should never, ever feel bloody well insecure. She is beautiful. She's bloody well... Oh, what can I say? She can get any man that she ever desires. And I know it's not me, and I must respect that. And I, I do my best to do so. You know, and I just really... I really wish that she would find her hidden courage and all that and would actually basically use it, you know? Because, you know what, Melody? I actually do bloody well love you that much. And I do actually love you and respect you that much. Unfortunately, you have forced my hand and I have to get this aggressive to actually show it. And it really breaks my heart that Amanda wanted to think all her bloody well way that... She always wanted to Skype with me, just basically me and her all the bloody well time, doing all this goddamn sex talk and really not much else. I tried to basically talk about other things, actually strike up a conversation, but no, she didn't want to. She just wanted to talk about sex talk or basically have me show her a video or something like that. There was nothing really constructive about it. I tried to make it constructive, but there was nothing about it. That's why I always, because at the moment, I'm paying $200... Give or take $200 a month to bloody well do Telstra. So I had no bloody well time to waste all that on just Amanda. That's why I wanted to start off by actually talking with the kids and all that. And maybe give, you know, actually maybe teach them something like geography and history that I know so well about. But no, I never was given that bloody well. I was never bloody well given that bloody well chance to actually teach the kids something. You know, actually something constructive. No, instead I was denied and all that because Amanda couldn't actually bloody well do it. You know, she wanted me all to herself to basically, after the kids were in bed, to bloody well literally fuck around with. I mean it. Literally talk bloody well about fucking. You know, just absolute total fucking cock -a duty bullshit. You know? I hope you bloody well enjoy my accent, Amanda. You bloody well love that, don't you? That's really what it sounds like, you know? Fucking hell. And as for all the people out there, all the people out there that have actually bloody well read all your stuff and believe your lies, your deception, and your manipulation, and all that bloody well garbage that you try and spew about me, forcing me to bloody well... If I try for employment, I will be denied because of it. If I had a job, I would have been fired by now, but that's probably never registered in your bloody well mind. You know, but all I could say is for those people who actually do that, you know, they clearly do not understand a damn old thing. They clearly lack any kind of intelligence or intellect whatsoever to just simply listen to you and just believe you like the bloody old gospel, you know. I hate them. I hate them all. They can all burn in hell! But I'll tell you what, what really bloody will disgust me is how pathetic you guys are at parenting. Why? Because you know what? You know what you do with kids, children? You don't make their choices for them when they basically are adults. You understand? Once they're adults, they are basically free to make their own choices. You can actually educate them to make sure they understand and make the right choice, but you have no right to make it for them when they're adults. Hence why I basically said, if they basically turn 21 years old, if they want to contact me and get my side of the story, they should be free to do so. It is not my choice to make, it is not your choice to make, it is their choice to make. Do you understand? No. You rather bloody well hover over them, basically, you know, have 
bloody well drones follow them everywhere and basically keep keep an eye on them, keep a camera behind their bloody well backs rather than basically teach them, make their own decisions. No wonder why poor bloody well Gracie might, uh, hopefully she started washing her hair as you basically told me. You know, hopefully she starts doing things for herself because she is so dependent on you and now I can't bloody well blame her, especially when you do like everything for herself or she has like your tailor to help her for it. You know, utter disgust. You are disgusting, bloody well parents. You know, you're not... I really hope you get like a psychiatric evaluation a lot of you because you know what? You guys are not fit to do it. I really wish I knew better many years ago that, quite frankly, after like a little while, I wish I basically left you guys and basically just never looked back. You know, I wish I bloody well never can... Bloody well... I really wish my common sense basically kicked in and I decided, you know what, these people are no good for me and I bloody well should have moved on. There was a chance when I almost did and I didn't take it and I've regretted ever bloody well since, you know, because you guys are emotional bloodsuckers. You actually baked all this bloody well effort and all that has taken my attention away where it is needed, where it actually could be used and actually listened to and actually bloody well understood and used for good, but no, instead, you guys have just basically sucked all the emotion out of me, and I can, I don't know how the hell I'm still standing here, but I still am.